I'm going to the Can't Canucks game to tonight, though. Are you? Yeah. Pretty excited. Um, Who do they play? The Red Wings. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. <laughs> it oh, is. Oh, man. Lucas Raymond's going to score on you so hard. Uh, dude, honestly, I, I'm i not a betting man. I would go all in on the Canucks winning tonight. Can I give you my, my reasoning? Almost um, every game that we've seen so far this season, they've lost. It's unsustainable. Right. It's like flipping a <laughs> coin. Like, they can't all be heads. Yeah, they're guaranteed. They're guaranteed to... I mean, they did win against Columbus, which was the last game I saw, but... Yeah, but Columbus is getting Bedard. They want to lose. It is crazy. Like, we're ass, and there's teams that are so much more ass than us. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Like, I, we could lose, like, seven games in a row, and somehow we're, like, pass Chicago in the standings. Oh, How can you be that ass? I'll be a little ticked off in Chicago gets Bedard just a little bit dude I didn't realize by the way I didn't get to see it but after the Super Bowl Gordon Ramsay has a new show that is like what do you mean engaging combat hang on he might come over by me like um you remember that was it the the platform the Netflix show where like it's a prison that's like 200 stories and they uh like send food down and then, like, on every level, people go, I'm, 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 I'm eating filet mignon, I'm eating filet mignon. And then on, like, the bottom, there's just broken glass and, like, shit on plates and stuff like that. They turned it into a show, but it's, like, a fun reality cooking show where, like, ingredients come down from the top. And, like, if you get low ranked as a chef, you get the bottom tier of ingredients at the bottom. They removed all that yucky, like, satire and just turned it into something like this pure entertainment. And I got a lot of respect for that, personally. They're on season three. Well, I don't watch. Okay, I do watch television. But I had I didn't know that. Okay, what's it called? I think it's called Next Level Chef. You watch a lot of TV. I, I genuinely don't watch a lot of TV. I watch like I mean, even people are going to be like, you watch the Super Bowl. No, I watched the first quarter. And then, like, part of the second quarter, and then I was getting ready to watch the halftime show, and then my wife was like, hey, I forgot I ordered this stuff from this bakery, and they close soon. Can you go out and get it for me? So I went out and got it, and I came back. It was, like, halfway through the third quarter. And then um, I had to look after the baby for, like, 40 minutes, and then it was, like, two minutes left in the game. So I, I, I didn't see very, that much of the Super Bowl. People are like, that's, like, two hours? It's not, like, two hours. They g I see him. Visual on target. Okay, hold on. I gotta focus here first. Oh no, I got. I'm dead. Melee damage. He killed me. He killed me. I didn't press W. My campaign. It rather appears that you ran out of luck. That's all right. I'm not sweating it. We we have so much positivity to glean from that campaign. He, turned me, he heard me talking about the Super Bowl. He ran right over. He's like, hey, what do you think about that final penalty? I don't care. I don't, I don't like football. The first quarter of that game was amazing, though. More football should be like that. Every, every single play was a pass or a quarterback sneak, and every pass was completed. They should just stop having incomplete passes. That was a, it was, for what I saw, it was a pretty good game. The ending was ass? Yeah, so that's what people say about Hereditary, too. It's still, like, one of my favorite movies of all time. 